Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these tile effect Eid cards, which you can inshallah give to family, neighbors, and friends to celebrate the day of Eid. I started by taking a piece of colored paper. This one has a watercolor effect and measured out strips one centimeter thick. I cut them out using some scissors and then stuck a piece of double-sided tape on the back of each one. If you don't have double-sided tape, you can ignore this step and use glue later on when we stick the tiles to the card. I use the ruler on my craft mat to measure out 1cm intervals on both sides of each strip and then cut out squares. Each square tile has a piece of double-sided tape on the back, so it will be easy to stick to the card. You'll need 21 square tiles for the first card. I also cut out some squares in the same way from a piece of gold card to give the card a metallic effect. They don't need to be perfect, as long as they're roughly the same size that's fine. I took a piece of white A5 card and folded it in half. Then I marked the middle of the card and stuck down one of the square tiles. Using a ruler as a guide, I stuck four tiles either side of the middle one, and so I ended up with a straight line of nine tiles. I'm writing the word Eid in Arabic Kufic calligraphy for this card, and so I stuck on the tiles to show the Ayn, Ya and Dal. I then used a tile for each Nukta under the Ya. You could use adhesive gems if you prefer. I took a gold metallic pen and drew around each tile and then drew a border around the whole shape. I then wrote the word Mubarak in large cursive font, going back to thicken the downward strokes. I also coloured in some of the letters using brush tip markers, and then stuck down some adhesive gems at the edges, adding another line to complete the design. For the second card, I drew some guidelines in pencil which I later erased, and wrote the word Eid in block capitals and the word Mubarak in cursive font underneath. I took a ruler and drew in some vertical lines from the top of the card, and used some square tiles which I had cut from silver card to make eight point star shapes. I also used some blue and silver squares as diamond shapes, placing them on the lines. I added some small adhesive gems on the lines, and then used a silver pen to outline the blue tiles. And here we have our two completed Eid cards, one using gold, pinks and oranges, and the other using silver and blues. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us gain true forgiveness on the day of Eid, and help us protect our souls from sin in the future. Ameen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.